Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Junior and Chill here. I'm doing another boss guide. We're going to be doing the the lupus boss, the wolf boss. I don't know. It's a weekly boss. You can do it co-op. You can do it by yourself too. It's actually a one. You get achievement for doing it both ways. So one week try doing it solo, and then another week try to do it co-op or reverse vice versa. It's up to you. But pretty much we're here. You're at a point where you're going to fight uh, technically Razor's dad, right? And so we're going to take Razor over here. There's the a wolf's gravestone right there. Pretty cool five star weapon, if I remember correctly. Um, but anyways, so this is how you commence it. It's a kind of difficult fight. There's two different phases to it. Um, the second phase being a lot more AOE than the first one. And you'll know that you're kind of going through phases when the wolf starts going like, you know, around the outside of the thing. So anyways, you start up, he's trying to like size you up. You can go ahead and actually start doing damage if you really want to. Um, watch, make sure you get out the, the ice because the ice will slow you down and also uh, potentially give you a worse like a uh, recharge rate for your stuff so you can get out of this stuff be able to clear it up kind of soon just kind of oh god um it's kind of hard <laughs> it's, it's kind of hard i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie this is actually a pretty hard one to, to do so if you have um some like range this is gonna be help you out a lot if you have like a good uh good mage you can kind of deal with that too I also used to use Lisa when I did one of the betas and the actual boss was kind of harder to fight. So it's really up to you. It just takes a little longer if you do it this way. Uh, we're using auto attacks and whatnot, but it still works out regardless. So you can kind of take it safe. There's going to be phases where you can take more, you know, a little bit more damage or if you need to like heal, whatever, you can just do some heals. Um, another thing too, is if you go into the left side of him, like I'll keep on me on the right side, but if I keep on, if I were on the left side of him, he gets kind of jumpy. Um, and it's easier to dodge, if you can see. I can just be in a circle, and I'm fine, for the most part. So, something to think about also, when you're kind of going through and doing this boss fight. Swirl's not going to work out too much unless you have an element on him, so... Venti is not going to do as much damage for you. It's going to take a lot longer doing it this way. I don't know of any enrage timer, like the other one kind of had. Uh, I just know that he's going to start doing circles. When you do the, the next phase, it's going to be kind of rough if you take too long. So having a something like fish out here, we can get out of it. It's pretty good. So he's going to go into the running phase. Just kind of run around, get ready, and then he's going to go run at you. Just dodge. You don't want to touch the ice. The ice actually damages you. So you kind of want to avoid that. Remember, if you get kind of hurt, you can also just pause. If you're by yourself, if you're in co-op, you can't really do it. But you can kind of just go here, heal up, and like, oh, Razor's kind of hurt. Let me go give him some Razor cakes over here. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You're done. I'm gonna jump back in. Hi. Give him a bird. Give him the bird. You know what I'm saying? And then go hit. Go back to just beating him up. You can use Venti to swirl, and then you do a little extra damage. You know what I mean? But Swirl only kind of works if he has electric on him, because he's immune. Otherwise. Oh, he's kind of, he knows, he does. This is kind of easier, honestly, in co-op for, you know, multiple reasons. Um, one of the reasons being, though, is the fact that you can go behind the boss and he doesn't trip out. If you're by yourself, he kind of knows. He knows what you're doing. He's just like, yo, I see you. You're doing that sneaky stuff. Get out of here. And I have Moda here. It's kind of weird, but it's whatever. I should have probably bought Barbara. Barbara would have been a lot better of a choice. I kind of want to know. Fight. Could I shoot him when he goes by? No, I can't really. Oh, it did auto attack him. Nice. So you can, you can just shoot him, I guess, huh? If I, if I fast enough? Am I fast enough? Oh. Back out. Go back to auto attacks. Oh, it's next phase, guys. When you hit 50%, he'll go into that next phase. Um, And this is where, like... He does some crazy stuff, okay? I'm prepared. He's now wind type. He has evolved. He's a wind ice. He is comboing by himself. This is danger zone, okay? Okay, he's gonna swirl you. Oh, there he goes. He hit me for a swirl. I almost died. You saw that? It's insane damage. So now, at this point, I can use something like this to proc some cool stuff. I can go here. He's gonna. You wanna see, like, right right around here. You don't take as much damage. He kinda doesn't mess with you too much. And looks like he's kinda chilling, which is good. 
I like this. Watch out. He'll also kick you from behind. So if you keep on being in that area too much. There you go. He's going to do the triple line real quick. Yeah, watch out for that. Oh, God. All right, cool. We're going to switch official if I can. And I get slapped before I die. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> All right, so before I die, since I'm, since I'm single player, and I might just die right now. But since I'm single player, I can do this. If you're in co-op, you'll just die if you do that. So, you know, what? That's why single player sometimes is kind of easier. I'm not going to lie. No lie, guys. Now I'm going to get more, a lot better position for Razors to do some damage. And we're about done right now. This is kind of a GG. Oh my God, can I hit the last hit? Can I get it? Can I go wolf mode? Let's go! <laughs> all right, it's pretty easy, all right? So it's, don't, if you if you are having a bad time, guys, don't worry, this is actually a super hard boss. I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's actually a super hard boss. So it's just that I've played through this game like three betas. Um, I've had quite a bit of practice on this boss. So let's see what the loot is. Maybe get a uh, pearl? No, we just get purples, that's fine. Did I get shafted? I think I got shafted, guys. Oh my god, I got shafted. Rip. So like I was saying before, remember those gladiator pieces in that Twitter gotcha was really good? Because normally you kind of get... You, it's kind of hard, as you can see, sometimes to get the pieces you want. So I didn't get a single gladiator piece this week. That kind of sucks, but it's fine. Anyways, you're going to be able to do this every week. Uh, my suggestions... I have a couple suggestions. One, if you're having trouble with this, co-op. Don't feel bad. If you know somebody that's OP, if you need uh, help, hit me up. You can come to my stream. You can like come to my Discord and whatnot. I'll help you out. Um, I can do this as many times as I want to. I just can't collect the loot every single time, right? Um, it's not a big deal. Now, another thing, too, is um, for me, I usually do these bosses at the end of the week. When you do them at the end of the week, I hopefully I have raised my world level higher. If I'm not going to raise my world level higher this week, then whatever. I just do whatever. But if I have a chance to raise my world level higher, I'll just do it at the end of the week. Uh, another thing too is um there's as you saw there's some benefits of doing it by yourself i'm able to heal myself like i can pause them in the game while by myself but if i'm in co-op you cannot pause it just kind of keeps on going you can try to feed yourself as fast as possible but like good luck uh <laughs> you're probably gonna get hit unless you're like you set you position yourself really good um Another thing, too, is that you definitely want to bring stuff like uh, electric to this fight if you can, because electric will actually react with the ice to give you a defense down, which is defense down is amazing. You can do it with so much more extra damage, as you saw. Sometimes I would just burst out damage real fast. It's really, really cool. You can also use fire, too. Fire reacts with ice really, really well to do melt. Melt does crazy damage. So consider those kind of things. And then, like, you can also run a swirl, you know what I'm saying? Like, hit them with that one of the one of the typings and then swirl them to do extra damage. So it's it's kind of like really up to you, kind of what you bring. Uh, just try out different things. Once again, if you're having trouble doing enough damage or surviving, make sure that if, try, if you're having a bad time surviving, uh, make sure you raise up your, your flowers level. Like if right here, I'll show you. Um, just kind of like go over real fast what kind of stats you would be looking for. Me personally, I'm kind of playing dangerous, so like I haven't really leveled up everything, right? But anyways, I would take out my flower. A flower gives you HP. The higher level your flower, the um, higher your HP pool is. So keep that in mind right there. If you're like, man, I keep on dying. I don't know what's up. Boom, there you go. If I want more damage, look, I got my flower up to 16. The flower is, or the flower, the feather is up to 16. The feather is not the most important piece. It's a very important part of the puzzle because you need to have higher stats so that when you switch to your other stuff, which is attack percentages, they're higher level. So this is kind of my gear. If you guys are wondering, like, oh, Junior, what's your gear? Like, your razor hits really hard, whatever. It's not, he's not even that strong yet, yet. One day he will be amazing, but right now he's he's doing all right. He's cool. He's just as about he's a little bit weaker than my CN account. So um, this is kind of like what you're looking at. You're gonna be if you need more power, your main DPS just run them straight attack. Boom, attack percent, attack percent, attack percent, attack, and then HP because that's what you need. And then like the substats, you could worry about this if you want to, but I personally like I'm gonna throw most of this gear away when I get to end game. So I don't really care about this gear. I'm just like whatever. I just want the main stats. So, but like, I know some people get like super nitty gritty, like, oh, but I have to have the perfect sub stats. Cool. I'm going to go finish the game while you figure out what you're going to do with your gear. It's really up to you. Okay. So that's just my suggestion for that, for these kind of things. It's just, it makes it simple. Keep it simple. You're going to get better gear anyways later on when you keep on farming. On my, on CN account, like most of my uh, artifacts I have are purple. It took two weeks to farm it. That's it. It takes about that much time if you actually add it and you just keep on doing you farming bosses like regular bosses, not just the weekly bosses, but far, farm the daily bosses and just keep on doing those every single day and just knock them out. That's easy. That's it. You'll eventually get gear. You'll eventually get the rolls you want to eventually get the perfect stuff. But until then, I just slap some stuff on that's really strong. That's it. 
I just put stats on my characters. That's really all you got to do to get through it. So it's really up to you guys. Uh, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do a boss guy because I know like this boss is kind of hard. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. You can hop in here in the comments. You can go in my Discord. I'm usually in there every single day, hanging out in the voice channel with all the all the homies. You know what I'm saying? Can be one of us. Um, and you know, like what, like what, what not? So, like, comment, subscribe to the video. Or you know, if you really like this movie or video movie, yes, it's a movie. It's a cinematic. No, it's a video. You know what I'm saying? If you like it, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, guys. I will catch you next time with more guides. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.